Today the police raid of illicit brew did not bear any fruit, as the brewers fled leaving their home. And because the police could not carry the illicit brew to the police station, they decided to pour all the 15 liters of changa and the ingredients used. I am Inspector Martin Kangala, based at Ugunja District Officer's Office uh, in the Ugenya District. Uh, we as a Department of Administration Police, uh, we are moving into homes of people we suspect that they are brewing changa or they are cooking illicit brews other than changa. So if we find the illicit brews, we arrest the owners of the home, those people who are involved in preparing the liquor, and take them to the police station, after which they are being taken to the court. I'm Otieno, a, lock, a consumer of illicit brew changa. And uh, what the government is doing, uh, the act of burning the changa is, uh, according to me, is not so good because I think the government should also consider the poor people like us. We need to develop a culture where the government and development workers really understand the plight of the poor because the illicit brew comes as a result of poverty in the community. Jerry Meresa reporting from Ubunja, Kenya.